Right, what's going on people? How are you tonight? So this is going to be a quick how-to video uh, regarding the Kuva larva links. Uh, the ones that you use to actually create the lich itself uh, that you would you know want to track down in those Grenier missions. So I'm going to be using Oberon as my frame which will be the quote-unquote progenitor of the frame on the lich info screen. That's going to give me the toxin element on the uh, the bonus which is what I want. I was previously running uh, Eidolons with Obi, so he's on, uh, or was on this little setup over here, and uh, I swapped him over to this healing efficiency. It's my, actually my easy mode defection build. You, you literally like press two, press three, and just walk around. That's pretty much it. Uh, this is the build that I use for Plague Star. Just huge, huge, huge massive range grass and armor strip uh, I could use this build as well for this sort of doohickey type deal but I'm just gonna go with the you can't hurt me good luck it's just you know they're only gonna be mediocre level anyway uh, let's do something fun let's go let's go ahead and rock the Galaxian Vandal how many of you how many of y'all have even seen the Galaxian Vandal. Well, actually, they did that giveaway, right? Where they, they gave it away for something for a stream. Anyway, look at that 126.5% status. I'm very lucky that uh, the uh, Riven I got from uh, a buddy is a critical chance and status chance. Like, can you really? I mean, just status chance alone. The Riven I had on there before was status chance and other stuff. And then this replace that. Uh, it's I mean you can't knock it. And then agile aim is surprisingly good. It just it fits without having to do another pharma, which I just haven't haven't gotten around to yet. Uh, especially given the new trades. Uh, I generally keep vandals as they are, but Galaxian has really cool skins. Day of the Dead, festive. But I really like the polar. It's kind. Of Kinda like a shot camo, but but not. But we're gonna stick with Lotus's Vandal and leave it colored. Uh, secondary doesn't really matter, so I'm gonna go with my rattle guts. And we certainly do not need to armor strip diddly squat. So let's take Telos for the core, and we'll swap back to Zeneric. We are going to take the Bavat because we're actually going to be running Saturn Cassini, uh, which is a Saturn capture mission. And I'm real gonna real quick gonna hop to my operator as I was just running uh, Eidolons. I want to make sure and we still are leveling that brand new amp, the 777 I was talking about. So we're we're getting there slowly but surely. One of the alerts I did earlier, the defense one, I, I brought. Slova, but I only used my operator. It's kind of hilarious. Anyway, all right, lockdown repair. We're good. That's what I need to make sure of. All right, so to the nav console we go. We've got Oberon. That's gonna give us our uh, our toxic bonus. What I forgot to look at and show you guys was what we're gonna be looking for in terms of weapons, right? With the Kuvas that we have. So so let's just do a search on Kuva. All right, so Augris, 28%. It's not not very good, but yeah, you know. 43.9 on the Shakura, that's, that's pretty good. 45 on the Comb, that's pretty good. 45 on the Tonkor, pretty good. 54 on the Drac, that's ridiculous. And my core tech is just fucking stupid. 59.7. I mean, come on. Hind at 55.6. The Karak, 37.1. I really like the Karak, so I kind of want to get that get that up. Uh, Brahma, 
I haven't even touched, as you can see, level zero, and it's already sitting at 56.8, so we do not need one of those. So probably what we're going to be looking for is either a Karak or an Ogris as our likely upgrades for primaries. We're certainly, we don't care about Shildig and we don't care about Ayanga. Uh, let's do that same Kuva search. And so my Seer is actually 31%, which isn't terrible. It's almost 32, but it's impact as you can see. So uh, this isn't even being used. It just sits on the side, which is perfectly fine. I mean, the rest of these are OP anyway. Bracket 29.1. Uh, That's not too terrible. It's, it's low, but not horrid. 40% for the stubbers. That's, that's solid. We can leave that there. 56% on the Kraken. Why the shit don't I use that? And I believe that the new core is 25. But I also have not leveled that either. So that's another one of those, like, I might want a different name. So I just haven't bothered. Uh, so I think what we probably want is a Karak or an Ogris is what we're going to be looking for. And the in order to spawn a Lich or a Larvaling, which is what's going to let you spawn the Lich as a result, uh, you need a Grenier mission that's enemy level 20 or higher. So what I like to do is use Cassini, which is the Saturn capture, so it's really quick. As you can see, it's level 21 to 23. So that hits us with the qualification. A lot of people use stuff up in Sedna, and that's perfectly fine. A lot of people recommend Adaro on Sedna. I actually recommend Adaro on Sedna sometimes and bring them to, to the extraction point. people Happy simply hunting. for the fact that it'll force them to kill a lot of things. That's really all we wanted was that uh, growing power proc before we actually started putting up our stuff. Target located. Bring them in. Oh goodness, this is just bonkers. Yeah, you're already in trouble, dude. You're in so much trouble. Good luck trying to kill me, man. The capture target has vital information that we will need to extract. We need our So do you see that screen flicker alive. there? That's like, oh, complete. dude, the if you keep making people angry, a larvaling's well gonna show up. You better be careful. So now I'm just gonna keep making things angry. Look at this. Literally, I mean, we we talked about the the percents already. But this thing crit, I mean, critting like that, look, I mean, that's Please just bonkers. And there he is. Too far. Send word. Oh, all right, this will be a good test. Here's a Nox. Yeah, he just, he just got robbed. I'm, I'm not even sure what happened to his poor ass. All right, so that red symbol that you see there, can't really see it when I ADS, which is so not helpful, because then I can't really point at it. But it's right there, 100 meters or so away. That is the uh, symbol for the hey, there's a, a larva link here, or there's a leech thrall here, etc., etc. So we're just gonna go ahead and head over to that guy, find out where he's at. Apparently back here somewhere. There he is. So Kuba Larvalin. Oh, look at that. So many stacks of viral. But he won't die because there's no actual tick on him. And then the viral all wore off. There we go. Alright, so he's down. I, I don't actually know where he's down. There he is. So if we look at him, you are surrounded by Grenier Marines. Right, so he's down. If we press X, as you can see, spawn Lich. We'll use our Parazon. We'll execute him. And there's the pop-up over the guy's head here that tells you what the t what weapon it's going to be. And you already know 
the weapon bonus uh, element because of the frame that you brought. If you don't know which frames do what, check Wikia. There's a nice little chat. Tell us all that stuff. Um, I clearly did not want that Dracoon, as you guys saw from you know what we had earlier that we were looking at before we came into the mission. So there was no problem with me not. It's kind of like with a capture target. If you, you know, if you don't capture them, then the, the counter starts for the one minute countdown. Please, you know, save the person. Yada yada. So that, that stuff like that to me is funny. It's just for, for a minute there, like, you're there. The Nox is health bar. It's like, takes a tiny hit, takes a tiny hit, takes a tiny hit, vanishes. I love the little pseudo AoE that's on this weapon. It's kinda like AoE, but not. It's, it's odd. It's it's almost like it. Uh, anyway, it's it's a really fantastic, fantastic weapon in my opinion. The uh, the Glaxian Vandal, especially run with. Uh, a high status chance and with the inherent cold it gives you very very simple viral just right off the bat just toss on you don't even need to use a cold mod if you don't want to i mean you, you should for the status chance etc obviously but it's not necessary so that's the basic gist of how you would track down get the larva link to show up find out what it has if it's what you want if it is press x paras on the guy when you back out to this screen and hit escape it'll go all red and your lich will show up and spawn obviously the one that i just did we had that dragoon and i have a 54 percent dragoon i don't really need the four percent bump that was going to give me to make that 58 as much as i need the bump on a 28% something else. So I obviously wanted to pass on that. And on I can go run Cassini again or uh, any other t level, again, level 20 plus. Any any 20 plus Grenier. Um, I just like to use Cassini as it's fast, simple, and very, very linear as it's a capture. Um, and I can just continue to rinse repeat until I get the specific weapon type it is that I want. And as long as I'm using Oberon or a frame, another t toxin damage frame, uh, I'll automatically know that whatever I pick up is going to automatically have toxin bonus, so I won't overwrite the toxin bonuses that I have. So that's pretty much all the information on how to take care of the finding the guy to stab so that you can get the cool lich that you want. Well, more so the cool weapon that you want, but you get the gist. So I hope that was helpful for you guys uh, in some way, shape, or form. And uh, uh, until I come up with another idea for some sort of how-to, hasta la pasta, baby.